In this video, I'm going to talk about automated chat messages. Automated message enables you to create channel specific and locale specific text. Now this automated chat messages can be used in chat with a response to a trigger based on some actions. Now uh, the trigger can perform uh, like say, uh, perform following actions like say, customize the messages, deactivate message, activate customer and agent facing message, overwrite or deactivate the pre-configured out of the box automated messages now uh, we can customize the by default message we can deactivate we can activate the message uh, and also like there are a couple of messages based on agent and customer facing side okay so this all can be configured in channel settings and chat sms microsoft teams or social channels so i'm going to walk through that process uh, in some time Automated messages are triggered based on some events. Okay, so there has to be some event. If that event happens, then this automated messages will uh, start triggering off. You can deactivate certain messages and there are inbuilt automated messages based on languages and message recipients. Okay, so which I'm going to uh, show you in some time. Moving on, custom automated messages. Now there are some uh, events which may happen and then this automated messages may trigger now some of the actions are listed here now if you see here agent couldn't be assigned to any conversation so if this situation happens then an automated messages will be uh, say triggered uh, in case an agent end a conversation or agent join a conversation or agent join customer conversation agent left customer conversation uh, average wait time for customers hours and minutes average wait time for customer in minutes consultation session accepted consultation session ended uh, customer messages couldn't be sent customers position in the queue this is about the waiting time our uh, end conversation due to overflow this is a special case basically holiday message to customer in case the customer approach the customer service team during the holiday, then this message will be posted. Uh, leave as many messages as you'd like and not enough data for average wait time out of operating hour message. So this is again out of operating hour messages. Uh, if you if the customer message to the customer service center uh, in uh, like an out of operating hours time, then this will be uh, sent. Uh, session ended uh, when the session ends. Supervisor force close the conversation and transfer to agent has been accepted. Now, all these things can be configured in a specific area. Now, uh, under customer settings, uh, we have this automated messages uh, defined. So from here, you can see all the automated messages which are uh, defined based on the language code and based on the channel through which it is targeted. Now, as you see in this table, the status is active. Uh, channel is say Teams or WhatsApp or Apple messages or SMS, uh, message trigger, uh, message recipient, who's going to receive that agent uh, or a customer, okay? And the language code and the localized text. Now the localized text can be in form of a text along with uh, some sort of a dynamic uh, content attached to it, okay? So like as you see over here, there's an agent name attached to a text uh, value, okay? Now you can add an automated message uh, based on some of the criteria which I have just, you know, like uh, gone through that complete list. Now, uh, let us see this in action. Okay, so I'm in customer service admin center. If I go to search admin center, and if I start searching for automated, I will see under customer settings, automated messages. If I click on automated messages, then I will see that, you know, there are like some sort of automated messages being uh, created, which uh, by default exist. Okay, so you can see, you can filter by active and inactive. So let me see inactive message for time being. So there's, uh, I'd say there are some messages which are inactive. Okay, and let me uh, go into say channel. Okay, so if I filter by say live chat, okay. Uh, I think there's nothing in live chat, but maybe let's say WhatsApp, okay? If I go to WhatsApp, then I might see some inactive messages. Now, these messages are based on some message trigger. Now, this is the triggers which I have just explained to you. 
so there's a session and a trigger and this is language code is french okay so i can uh, search for other languages as well uh, so let me search for english okay so english us apply and this is the message recipient is a customer so the message recipient can be either a customer or an agent okay now for a customer for english us uh, this is a agent name has joined the conversation or agent has left the conversation okay this is how you know uh, the all the messages are displayed now in this screen uh, you can't technically uh, do anything like uh, in terms of uh, edit okay but if you click on edit over here okay you will see that you know like this is like the text which has been uh, specified agent will be in a moment but now this record status is inactive you know you you can't technically edit over here and i would advise not to edit uh, in this particular screen okay now this is all about automated messages so if i remove the filter from everywhere you'll see that there are uh, many records over here okay so let me see here the language clear the filter now you'll see there are 2115 records okay so this is by default which is available within out of the box okay now if you want to create your own automated messages then what you can do is maybe you can uh, go to channels and under channels chat manage and you edit one of the channel then under behavior you will see custom automated messages now here what it says is, is customize an automated message from a template for this workstream channel default automated message templates can be found in global settings and are automatically applied to all workstream which we have just saw now custom automated message i have already added a couple of messages over here i can add in another message and let me uh, see something about consult so consult accepted if this is a consult accepted i'll say uh, a consultation session has been accepted please wait okay, something like this now i can confirm it and the moment i do that i will be able to see this particular session uh, custom automated message listed over here now this particular thing is currently in an active state if i click on edit over here uh, you can see that this particular consultation session has, has been accepted is uh, already present over here now from here we can't uh, edit it further you know however what we can do is we can say delete the record from here okay but you can't technically edit over here so uh, let me see here this one a consult accepted okay so this is the one which we just added we just say save and close okay now let me duplicate the screen and go to automated messages again by searching here okay. and if i navigate to the automated messages let me see what i find on consult The, and i will be needing in english so maybe i might have to go another way around what i'm gonna do is you know i'll try to filter this out so if i go into automated messages i will first filter by english okay Let me again search the admin center go to automated messages from here i will say language code is english us apply this and the channel is say chat live chat click on apply and 
uh, here you see there is a consult accepted okay and then you have a uh, consult session okay and there are many other things which you can see over here so let me uh, say message trigger filter by contains consult here you will see all the out of the box uh, automated messages which is present over here you can select the message whatever you want say console session maybe ended and say console started okay so let's say this one okay now here uh, this is about consultation session which has been initiated now here i can go to edit and i can uh, save and close i can make those changes over here but i would advise like not to touch the out of the box uh, settings and you can make your own settings however we can change over here and at the same time you can deactivate as well so if i deactivate this then this particular uh, entry will get deactivated and then you can't uh, uh, use this uh, record okay so so this particular uh, console started is inactivated right so the one which we saw earlier you know when we go through the chat channel and if we edit this and under behavior you can add those references to those custom automated messages however from here you can't you know like uh, technically deactivate it okay so there is no way through which you can deactivate in this screen but uh, with the global messages yes you can deactivate this so that's it folks this is all about automated messages within the dynamics 365 customer service omni channel application thanks for